is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, because all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the VIP Sports Podcast, home of the absolute blowout winner. If money talks, me and this guy right here got a whole lot to say. I'm Darren Notero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, your host, sitting here with my co-host, the Big Skipper, a.k.a. the chiropractor. And I'd have to say, Skip, by the looks of your hat and uh, the look today, it was a long night of gambling yesterday. You probably pulled in about 40 thousand dollars make sure earmuffs to the wife at home you brought in about 40k yesterday was it a long night or um actually you're dead wrong about this one this time partner I've never seen you in a hat and a beard looking tired bro I, 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 I look tired well you got a bottle of fucking tequila on your desk to start the day off that, uh, uh, that, that's just waking me up well that's very unprofessional bro listen i got my closest friends coming into town this weekend talk and to I, me and i'm just getting warmed up mikey i'm getting warmed up school boy i mean i figured I'd, <laughs> listen my, my my motto for the new year Woo. come in clean as a whistle i'm sure everybody's seeing these snowflake uh white mm -hmm. uh you know vip sports uh hoodies absolute blowout winter hoodie on the back you know coming to the website real soon make sure you get yours you're not a snowflake Snowflake? No, I used to hit a couple snowflakes here and there, but uh, 2017, like I said, we're not playing around with any of that shit. Yeah, I got my closest friends coming into town this weekend, Steve. That's what you said, So man. you might not be seeing too much of me. I'm going to break that to you right now. Well, that's not good. That's I not got, professional. I, that I, don't excite me. I have. So uh, your clients get fucked because one of your little buddies come in town? No, 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 no. I will be taking care of my clients. Oh, okay. I got three of my biggest players actually coming in this weekend. Don't sound like it. For championship weekend. Uh huh. And it's going to be a crazy You're going to tell them that you're busy too because your you're buddy's in town? No, or? no, I did not say you that. You sure? As a matter of fact, we're going to shut down every book in town like Chick-fil-A on a Sunday, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> shut them the fuck down. Anyway, buddy, you look good. Welcome back, Woo. man. Another day, another dollar. One thing that I love uh, about Las Vegas, when it rains, it fucking pours. Yeah. One thing about us, we get fucking locked in our telemarketing room. We order a bunch of faux for the guys. We order Capriottis <laughs> for lunch. We keep the food coming in, keep the dollars going, and the deals keep selling. Faux for everyone. There's nothing else to do when it rains but sell and get money. Bring new clients aboard, show them the formula for success, take them from their old guy that don't know shit, mm -hmm. and get them on the right track. Absolutely. Get them on the right page. You know, know what page that is, don't you? I don't know what it is about this weather, man. In the last couple of weeks, it's been cloudy, <laughs> raining. I, well, your been, bank account hasn't been cloudy. I can uh, fucking... It's been raining up in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it's thunderstorming over there at the fucking uh, yeah. Big Skipper's household there's, right there's now. There's some heavy thunderstorms going on in my bank account, and it's been raining heavily. Shout out to a guy like me. Never should have been let out the penitentiary. Steve Stevens, I am on fire. They call me El Scorcho on the streets. Nobody puts their money where their mouth is. Nobody has a client base like me. And if I could give all my clients just a big hug right now and embrace everybody, I'd have to say 2017 has been a great year for me. And, you know, people always ask me, Steve, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay excited? I, I look for things to excite me. Mm -hmm. uh, like a real good one right now was 2017. I used my birthday in 2017 as a couple key factors uh, of motivation to see where I stand in life, uh, do a uh, evaluation of my life and my time. Am I using my time the right way? Am I putting my efforts uh, into Skipper's uh, gambling keno efforts too much, too little? Am I, <laughs> is he overpaid? Is he, does he have? Uh, no, let me answer that for you. No, I'm not. No? No. Because uh, it's never enough, right? Never enough. I love your attitude. Like I said. So uh, what you're saying is we're certain, most people... They, they have reality checks and life, yeah. and life checks, yep. like on New Year's Eve. Correct. You know, they, they make their, uh, their annual New Year's Eve predictions. Or that particular day doesn't mean anything to right. me. I, I love when guys are, or people are drunk uh, and their resolution is not to drink no more or not smoke pot right. or I'm not going to do no more blow or pain pills right. this year. But uh, they're walking around on the New Year's Eve party, yeah. smoking a cigarette, blow it out of their mind on 13 pills, but tomorrow they're supposed to quit. Yeah, you've done an eight ball on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and, and you're and quitting, and and you're New quitting Year's, at New Year's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, New Year's Day, your resolution is, I'm not doing blow again this year. Right. 
So basically what you're you saying... You just blew out your resolution is what you fucking did. So basically what you're saying is... Have realistic goals and set you, them. But you have you have dates throughout the year, whether it's right. your, your birthday yeah, yeah. or whether it's one of your kids' birthdays. Birthdays in February. Or whether it's the day you opened up the shop VIP Correct. Sports. There's a couple of different... You, you, you have these days throughout the year where you have reality checks, you have business checks. Evaluate my time. Evaluation dates throughout, of myself throughout the year. Any yeah. master closer or any guy uh, doesn't need any professional true master closer doesn't need to be scolded or told what to do. Right. You're supposed to uh, look in the mirror and figure it out yourself. Self, you're supposed to stay self, composed, self motivate yourself. Self evaluation. It's a, a complete and, self evaluation. And you must have several of them throughout the year. Not just, I do. Not just on New Year's. I do, but it's right. a good one to start 17 with positivity. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what I've done right now for t you know is, is is I'm like a positive magnet. Uh, everything positive comes my way. I stay positive. If you don't have anything you know positive to say, stay away from me. And then I got my birthday in February. But yeah, you got to stay positive. And 2017 has been a great year for a lot more than just making money. Mm -hmm. My family's in a good position right now. I'm very happy. Uh, we're healthy. Uh, my kids are excited. Things are great. Uh, things are great for your household. For for VIP Sports, we're kicking ass, taking name, mm -hmm. uh, holding our number one spot as the number one sports consultant firm in America. Uh, company writes more news, more business, and has more clients than anybody in the world, period. Well, We're you, the only company that's worldwide. Yeah, well, you mentioned my hat. You know, I, I, I am looking forward to making America great again. I'm Make looking, America great again, I'm, Skipper. I'm looking forward to making your bankroll great again, which is the most important thing. That's a fact. Uh, I, I love to make my client's bankroll great again. It's, the, it, it's what they call the peaceful transition of power. And I, I'm just wearing a hat in, su in support of that, Steve. I love it. I'm not trying to play politics. I don't give a fuck if you it, wore a tank top in here, Skip. It, it, You're all about the money, man. It's the peaceful transition of power, which is what makes America great. Right. It's, it's kind of like the peaceful transition that you made in the sports world when you conquered the sports betting world. Monopolized it, it and pretty much put it in a strong horror. Pretty know. much, yeah. yeah it's, uh -huh. just, it's a peaceful transition uh, It of, wasn't of that power. peaceful, but we got to the top. <laughs> It's a peaceful transition of power. Yes, sir. When we took over the sports world. And then you can either run with it uh, in a wrong way or you can run with it with a powerful way like we do and let everybody know it's a billion dollar industry and everyone deserves their fair share. They sure do. Including fucking you. Everybody. Like I said, there's enough here for everybody. Oh, there is. This isn't the roaring 20s where the town's not big enough for the two of us, you mm -hmm. see? Right. Even though if that's how it was, I'd still be fighting for our territory. Oh, we'd still get if the if, if, yeah. if Vegas wasn't big enough for more than one service, we'd best it. believe we'd be the company that's here. Well, we'd we'd have it. everybody out. We'd make it bigger. It's not big enough, you got to go. Yeah. But because there's enough money for everybody, Everybody deserves to shine. It's, it's January 19th, 2017. Everybody was making fun of me last uh, week. I said it was 2016. Well, that's an easy mistake, especially the first week of January. Anybody in the TV business, everybody easy does, mistake. Everybody yeah. does that. Good news is, is we're live. We don't have researchers. We don't cut mm -hmm. and edit our show. So we really don't give a fuck either, do we? Totally authentic up in here. Goddamn right. Yeah. Al Naturel, to mm -hmm. be exact, Skip. Uh, before we get into the podcast, and by the way, we got a great show for him today. Uh, podcast number 105. Yes, can you believe it? 105. Yeah, like I said, Skip, we're, we're rocking and rolling, trying to head to that 200. We sure are. We'll be there real soon. Uh, like I said, if you're trying to get a hold of us, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wanting to get on the money page, uh, if you want to get into sports betting, uh, you want to learn the lingo, you want to know how to be a better sports better, if you're just doing it for the first time, you don't know what it is and you need help, you've called the right place. Skip, why don't you tell them how to get a hold of us if they're ready to make the move and start making a second income? The because after all, there's no money to be made in the stock market. And to all my gurus out there, financial advisors, bankers, uh, real estate tycoons, oil tycoons, uh, wh where the fuck are you? That 10, 15% in the market ain't doing nothing. Come get, it, come, come get a little piece of this 3, 400% in a week. How about that? How about I make you 300% on your money in seven fucking days? Tell them how to get hold of us, Skip. We could definitely flip your money betting sports a lot faster than you're flipping or doing anything else. Whether you're flipping uh, houses, whether you're flipping precious metals. Flipping dope. Whether you're flipping weed, cocaine, uh, pills, whether you're flipping coins. You can't make more money. I don't know what you're flipping, but we're flipping stacks of hundreds, uh, stacks of hundred thousand we're, we're flipping them like he always says a world-class gymnast. Flipping them like pancakes. Yes. Flipping them like a world-class gymnast. Yeah. Flip it like uh, like uh, motherfucker Ron Sherm. Just get on board. And you know how flipped out that motherfucker is. Yeah. <laughs> get, get on board and let's let's start flipping together. What do you say? 877-220-6540. Easiest way to get a hold of us. If you want to get a hold of us, you don't want to be frauded. Don't forget, guys, alert. Amber alert. We have a lot of frauds. Mm -hmm. We don't text blast. We don't email blast. Uh, we're not on Twitter uh, uh, responding to comments. Remember, we have a lot of imposters uh, making fake, fake accounts as Skipper, VIP, Steve Stevens. If you want to know it's us, 
Call 877-220-6540. Pick up the phone. We got, we got pretty distinctive voices, you might say. That's a fact. You're going to know whether you're talking to Steve or whether you're talking to me. You're going to know whether it's us. Period. Uh, these people out there trying to imitate, you know, it, it is what it is. When, but order, they don't deserve to have a guy calling in their underwear. No. Be, because a guy's good on the internet and he's fraudulent, mm-hmm. knows how to make a fake Twitter account, knows how to act like he's us, doesn't deserve... Uh, a client doesn't deserve to get frauded by a scumbag like that living with their mom that has no information, doesn't know anything about sports betting, and they're throwing darts with their money. You can do that on your own. Well, as we said before, Steve, in order for someone to imitate success, someone, has to be someone first has to be successful. That's why, you know, so, that's why I can't get mad for everybody out there. Listen, every sports service in the world listens to our show, whether they admit it or not, mm-hmm. because they got to look for games. I you know they do. They I, tell me when I see them. They, we, they tell me they do. We don't follow trends. We, we set them. Yes, we do. All right, so 877-220-65. If you're looking for a free pick, go to our website at VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We have all packages for all size, shape, and levels of sports bets. Uh-huh. If you're just brand new betting $200 a game, make sure when you call, you ask for Skip. <laughs> for those higher level guys that are betting $1,000, $2,000, up to $20,000 a game, make sure you say, uh, I'd like to talk to Steve Stevens. But, but remember this, guys. Um, you can be a millionaire. You can be a billionaire. I don't care how big or small you are. Until you sign up for that week of service for $250, you are nothing. In other words, you could be the biggest player in the world, like I tell my guys, like, you know, the salesman get off the phone, man, this guy's a whale. He said he bets $100,000. Oh, yeah? What did he sign up for? Mm-hmm. Nothing. We'll give it that. That's exactly what... We used to call it the Tommy Jerk. Yeah, like the, I t- said. The Tommy Jerk. Yeah, make sure you cover your face, because a couple more strokes and he's going to nut on you. <laughs> Like I said, guys. Listen, somebody, somebody gets sold on every phone call, Steve. That's correct. That's why I have e- to either, teach. Either you or them. That's correct. That's Somebody's getting sold. That's why we don't, have to don't teach. Don't make it you. That's why I, we, we strongly make sure our salesmen are some of the best in the world. Yeah. They stay on their toes. Just like playing third base, the hot spot. You've got to stay on your toes. You've got to stay focused. You've got to have mental clarity to do this business because these guys will fucking rob you in a second. And if you don't know what you're doing and you're not more powerful than these degenerates, get out of the way. they'll eat you alive. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens in 99% of people in this industry. The degenerates are more powerful than the salesmen talking to them. You've got to be ready for those line drives. So like I, that, that's a fact. Like I said, the hot spot isn't called the hot spot for nothing. I'd have to say if you play any position here at VIP, I, I, I was thinking of you're another, probably playing third base. I was thinking of another hot spot. Another hot spot? You thinking of uh, Spearman Rhino or Olympic Garden? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, Paul. Oh, fuck. Uh, like, shout, shout out to Cheetahs. Uh, no doubt. Subscribe to the podcast on YouTube, iTunes. We read all of your comments. Uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we love what you have to say. We appreciate your support. Follow us on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram at VIP Sports Las Vegas. You can direct message us with any questions, any comments. Remember, you don't want to go on a comment and say, I have 10,000, uh, let's bet. If you do that, nine out of 10 times, you're fake. Uh, uh, if you do do that, you're going to get stalked by about 500 services that are looking for you to do that because these people watch my show and hope that happens. Go ahead and do it if you want to get trolled. If you're real and you don't want no trolls, you catch just, me in the just, DM, brother. Real fucking simple. Yeah, direct message, or better yet, just pick, pick up that 877-220-6540. Correct. I'm going to let Skip take over right now, but from the bottom of my heart, shout out to the military heroes listening to the VIP Sports Podcast on the Armed Force Radio Network. Come, huh, Skip? The Don Julio is taking over. Is it? Okay, yeah. well, I want to thank them for keeping us safe. Uh, what do you want to thank them for? I want to thank the troops for everything they do, Steve, men and women alike. Uh, I love you guys. You know I come from a military background. Yes, sir. Had, had a I lot, got your six. Had a lot of family members in the military. As a matter of fact, uh, shout out to my father today. Today would have been his birthday. He was a Marine in Vietnam. Uh, thank you very much for your service. God bless, Skipper uh, Senior. My, uh, my grandfather was a Marine. My brother was in Desert Storm. He's uh, first cavalry. My, my wife's cousin was a Navy SEAL. Uh, God rest your soul, Lance. And uh, listen. Shout out to the military, man. I don't know what else to say. Thank you very well, much. Well, how about saying that uh, when we come on and when they can listen to us, since that's what the whole script and, is and, about. And shout out to the three military guys that called in yesterday and signed up. Oh. And got that absolute blowout. I'm, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> guys, you know, over 111 people signed up since we went on Armed Force Radio Network. So we, for us not to say that that hasn't brought our company six figures, mm-hmm. we'd be lying. But guess what that means we brought to the armed forces? Uh, multiple six figures. Multiple six yes. figures. So salute to you as well. And to all my, hey, Colonel Hernandez, <laughs> you know who you are out there. Congratulations on that 75K I made you in three months, which is definitely more than you're making over there. Shout out to the Air Force, brother. Anyway, you can catch us on the Armed Force Radio Network, uh, which I was trying to tell Skip to tell you, on Fridays. <laughs> uh, he, he's a little off today. I think Kino was a uh, long <laughs> night last night. Uh, like I said, he does have too much money-itis right now because I've been winning a lot of games. 
And at the end of the day, you know how to handle it. There is no such disease, my friend. You want to check us out on the Armed Force Radio Network, check us out at 11.30 a.m. Pacific, and again on Mondays at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. I want to thank all of our sponsors, by the way. Uh, Armed Force Radio Network being one of the biggest sponsors that we have. Shout out to Jimmy Johns for sponsoring us. And we are pleased to bring VIP Sports Podcast every single week. Mm -hmm. Proud to have our sponsors following us. And guess what, Skip? What? Makes me proud to give a shout out to our new sponsor as well. Paperhead. Paperhead's in the fucking house. Give a shout out to Paperhead all day long. Ladies and gentlemen, for those sharp sports bettors wanting to make more cash, manage your players, and start your business with Paperhead.com. Start making real money with the best sports management software in the business. Paperhead is secure, user-friendly, and built with exclusive tools to maximize your profits quickly and easily. Track lines from every professional and college sports league. Get access to a 24-hour support staff every day of the year. Wow. So if you're a little like Steve Stevens and you bet big and live larger, you can become your own boss today with Paperhead. Paperhead Paperhead.com. Try it for free, ladies and gentlemen, at paperhead.com and get your piece of this billion-dollar industry. And ladies and gentlemen, to you out there, if you're watching or listening to the podcast, you own a small business or you're at work, uh, you're one of those offshore books out there struggling, you want to be a part of Steve Stevens, now that I'm not under CNBC and couldn't take money from offshore, you want to still give me a million and a half, make sure you contact our sales team at, at advertising, BIP Sports. LasVegas.com. Shout out to all of our sponsors, like I said, Paperhead.com, uh, Jimmy John's, more importantly, uh, Armed Force Radio Network. We love you all. Thanks for your sponsor. Hope we represent you. Skip, what's next, brother? Some shout outs? You know, if you're doing shout outs, you might as well shout out some guys like 21 Savage. Well, hold on, you know, hold on, hold all on. All of our fans out Be- there, Steve. Before we get into it, I got to be real, Skip. Sean Wire, what's up, bro? We have some of the baddest kick-ass, most loyal, real, organic fans in the fucking world. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of my heart, ladies and gentlemen, to all our fans out there, everyone that supports us, everyone that's listened to me from day one, supported my movement, I appreciate every single thing that you've done. Our fans have helped us grow from the beginning uh, and grow this beautifully. Or, you know, it's like I love my organic marijuana because it's so organic, no chemicals. Mm -hmm. It's natured, it's loved, and I love smoking (laughs) it. It's the same passion I have for our clients here. They've helped us grow our all-organic, all-natural podcast, which, by the way, we have the only podcast that is Mm all-organic. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have any fake views. Uh, None of our videos have fake views. We don't have any fake followers. We don't pay for fake likes. And even Skip, as savvy and sharp as he is, I I even had to show him, like, over the last six months, he'd be like, Skip, dude. He'd be like, Steve, look, dude. These motherfuckers right here, uh, little dick motherfuckers, uh, shows they got 18,000 followers and 13,000 subscriptions. And then what I do on there, I said, look, Skip, look at their followers. And what were they? Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had to show Skip that they were no, fake. No, as- nothing against the Chinese, but it was just obviously, it's, it's obviously, it's obviously fake. fake. And everybody out there is fake. And by the way, we have the number one viewed sports podcast organically uh, on YouTube in the internet, period. We're the number one Googled sports podcast. We are the number one viewed podcast. We average uh, 5,800 views, anywhere from 10,000 uh, all the way to 4,500 on the low end, not counting the average of our Money Talks episodes that are in the hundreds of thousands. So per average, we actually average you know, 39,000 per video, but just on YouTube alone with our VIP sports podcast, mm-hmm. over 10,000, we're reaching 10,000 subscribers, all organic views. Thank you so much for that, ladies and gentlemen. Like the produce aisle at the, at the grocery store. All, all organic. All organic, my Well, friend. you'd have to be over at the... the, the well, you'd have to be at Sprouts. I was just going to say, you got to pull over to Sprouts. Or Shout out to Sprouts. Spin, you know, uh, uh, what's the other one out there that gets you top dollar? Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Shout out to top... Anyway, but uh, from the bottom of my heart, Skip, let's go ahead and give a shout out to some of our listeners. Victor Sabaripa. What's up, Victor? Andrew Harris. Blake Andrew. Sean Wire up in the house. Where the fuck are you reading? My, I'm, I'm jumping all around. Are you? I mean, well, how, my, you gonna, how, how are we going to jump around? My man Stanley. I mean, this you, guy, you're, you're losing it today, bro. I mean, you. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're fucking out there, dude. This is the first so, day that I haven't seen you focused in a lot. What do you <laughs> but mean? But you're in a great mood. I don't get Listen, I'm, You're doing your job. You're making money. Today, yeah, you're a little off, dude. I'm more focused than a fucking telescope. What are you more talking about? More focused than a telescope. Tell, listen, I can see outer oh, space. Oh, my God. I can, huh? I can see outer space through my no. telescope right now. 
I don't know, dude. Shout out Tony Silva, Paul Thompson, T Rob up in the house, U- Unique Mechanics. Let's just get it right off the bat. Sean Wire, Stanley, <laughs> U- Unique Mechanics, shout out. Tony Silva, mm-hmm. Paul Thompson, a local that we see in the books. Mm-hmm. Paul, I appreciate you supporting us. Paul's one of the guys, uh, Skipper, that actually see us at Caesars with our six figure tickets and our clients and whacking up hundreds of thousands and know what's real. So he gang bangs for us on the internet when people steal our tickets or pictures of our stuff or our money and act like it's theirs. And, right. You know, shout out to Paul Thompson. T Rob, T Rob says there's no age limit on college basketball. So I figured we'd get you back in college, Skip. See well, if I can't I, get you a walk on over at UNLV basketball program. Well, not basketball. I mean, <coughs> I'll get up on the D line a little bit if you want me to. Not just basketball. Andrew Harris in the house. Blake Andrew. Uh, Michael Chirello. Victor Zam Zamaripa. Victor, what up, man? I met I met Victor when he Victor's came. Victor's a great guy. Victor's yeah. a cool dude, man. Well, Justin Nava, JJ Nava, we yeah, met him. JJ's Every, been I, in the office several times. I, I mean, so is a lot of these people. Mike oh. Guerrera, uh, Bob Akron, Michael F, Emiliano Giano, Joe. Uh, Coke transitions. Coke, <laughs> Coke transitions. That means you've, you're transitioned from pills to Coke. I wow. love you, brother. Emiliano Janino. Jay wow. Chops, Carlos Herrera, Club X123. He gangbangs for us. He, he, he goes hard in the yeah. fucking paint. Shout out to you. Love you, Club X. What up? Abe Kiffel, uh, my man Rude Jude. Last time Rude Jude was uh, in town, another true. He got a sack of Steve Stevens, master closer, Kush. Pass the fuck out. Three winners, and he spun around. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker didn't know what to do without Rude. any shadow of a doubt. Uh, Rude Jude definitely went down hard. Uh, Brennan Fleming in the fucking house. Bobo, my homeboy Bobo. We call Bobo the clown because you put some dumb shit in there, but you're still one of my boys. Big one AZ. of my closest friends put some of the. Dumbest fucking pod, uh, comments in I've ever seen yeah. in my fucking Big life. Big AZ handicapper. Absolutely. Jeremy Robertson. At Jeremy Robinson. Speaking of rude Jude, man. He, Felix he, Gatto. He bought, Patrick he bought, Stidham. He bought that house, Steve. He's I sure. know. Congratulations on buying that house off the second income that we made you, rude Damn Jude. Damn straight, homie. I told you I'd do my job, and I did it, right? That's a success story. No, that's a guy that gets personal play, stick to it. Yeah. A guy that sticks to it. Follows the program. Doesn't run with the money. Doesn't play his own games. Mm-hmm. Doesn't fucking... See, if we do it their way, we get their results. You do it our way you get our results. So I would have to label him as one of our few composed sports bettors that listen. He listens. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to every guy on Twitter, wannabe handicapper living with your mom, every handicapper out there claiming to be a millionaire, putting pictures of our tickets up there, everyone out there claiming to be a sports consultant that doesn't have a room or any salesman that uh, doesn't do shit. Uh, Because at the end of the day, you guys are just looking for the formula for success, and I got no problem giving it to you. In order for somebody to imitate success, Someone has to be successful. Mm-hmm. So I'm not mad. Take my information, embrace it, but watch your mouth, dude. Don't try to learn everything from me <laughs> and then act like I, you're me or act like you're taking our information and you're going, I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. It's a little bit embarrassing. When, but, when, you're, when you're making money following our talents and getting tips from us, I mean... Uh, and learning from yeah. us. And, you know, next I'm going to start giving people closing statements on how to be a master closer. Mm-hmm. Show people how to rebut skepticism, not interested, been burned before, stuff like that. Real we, G shit. We can't help them all. We're not, well, like I said, Skip, it is what it is. Uh, it's 2017. I couldn't be more excited. Podcast number 105. Let's get into the show, huh? Yeah, I thought we were into it. Well, we are, Skip, but like I said, we wanted to go over the sponsors and everything. Patrick Stidham, Felix Gatto, you mentioned those guys? The whole idea of the, v- the VIP Sports Podcast mm-hmm. is, in, is to promote the legalization of sports betting, which is going to be happening very soon, yeah. uh, to let people in my life, a guy that bets big and lives larger and brings you into the guy, uh, the only guy that's ever had a uh, primetime television show about sports betting and how to make money and millions and millions of dollars. No one else will ever have one. No one has. We've made history, and we continue to make history by being the number one sports consultant firm in the world. Like I said, the peaceful transition of power. It sure is. And speaking of power, Skip, there's been some interesting stories the last few days regarding the legalization of sports betting in the states. Now, as you know, the U.S. Supreme Court on Tuesday invited the acting solicitor general to file a brief in the long-running New Jersey sports betting case. Yes, they have. The only one of more than 100 cases before the court that day to receive such treatment. You want to talk about this a little bit? Uh, what you just said there is a great sign we're heading in the right direction. Let me tell you, for you squares out there that don't know what it is, nine out of 99 out of 110 times, if this came in front, it would be brushed off like absolutely no big deal. It wouldn't be even up for discussion, be an absolute no. On Tuesday, there were 100 cases that the Supreme Court looked at to decide whether or not they were going to give it a go and listen to the case. Well, 99 out of those 100 cases were thrown in the garbage and said, we don't even want to talk about it. The only one that they gave consideration to 
was the New Jersey sports betting bill. That's a beautiful sign. Ladies, that means a fucking big thing for New Jersey and sports betting. Like I said, the only reason why I do this show is to promote the legalization of sports betting. And when that happens, I'm a billionaire and you're instantly oh, worth 100 God. million. Oh, so go ahead, stick to the story though. I want people, I want to get, guys, uh, you know, for that, for that one lady out of our 8,000 uh, viewers and everyone that loved us from day one that doesn't know I've been on TV and break history and make records that says our podcast doesn't have any, uh, what, what, what'd the bitch say? No substance and repetitive. No substance and it's repetitive. I'll the only you. thing you can repetitively do, long young lady, <laughs> is take my cock, put it in your mouth, and let my balls jingle on your chin. I got That's the only thing you can repetitive do to me. Because yeah. I make more people money in sports betting than anybody in the world. So you can repetitively lick my balls. Go oh. ahead and stay on this statement, oh Skip. Oh my God. Woo! I got something repetitive for you is what you're saying. I give a dog shit, but go well, ahead. Well, the federal government previously, uh, previously, Steve, has sided uh, with the five major sports organizations in the sports betting case. Right. So the big news is uh, because of that Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act, right. PASPA, the thing that they passed in 1992. Correct. Uh, that's where the, the hang-up has been, okay? Uh, however, this particular case, they gave the uh, acting solicitor general, which Trump will be... Uh, uh, picking here real soon, by the way. Correct. He's uh, in charge of him as well. Yeah, pretty much. It's going to come down to whether or not, and not only that, he's going to pr- uh, he's going to pick a Supreme Court justice to fill uh, Scalia's seat. And you know damn well they're going to go in the room, close the door, and say, "Listen, I'm going to give you the seat, but my friend down there, Christie in Jersey, he's got yeah, to- yeah, he needs some sports betting pass down there. A period. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that Supreme Court. It's uh, called. I'm going to give you that Supreme Court justice ninth seat. Uh, but let's make sure we get this in full motion. It's called the hardcore business, and that's what yeah. I love about Donald. Oh, yeah. Make America great again. Let's do some fucking business. I'm talking East Coast shit up in here. Well, well, that's what I'm talking. To everybody out there that hears it, it's, it's, it's PAPSA. Uh, it's it's mm-hmm. the constitutional law passed in Congress in 92, which is the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act. Yes. That's, that's, so if you hear that's what's holding everything up. Correct. Well... Uh, they're not going to be holding shit up anymore. What about Christopher Soriano and uh, of the Dwayne Morris Law Firm in Cherry Hill, New mm-hmm. Jersey, Skip? He said, if the court had no interest at all in hearing this case, it would have <laughs> simply just denied it, like I said. Like they always do. It would have been one of the 99 out of 100 that they just threw in the cash, in, in the trash. It's the only so, reason I started. The, so, bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, the shit is about to happen. Mm-hmm. It's going to start small, but it's the whole reason why we've done this, and I literally can't wait. Also, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court on Tuesday delayed a decision on whether to consider Governor Chris Christie's bid to bring sports betting to New Jersey and ask President-elect Donald Trump, uh, incoming administration, to uh, you know, offer its views on the matter, which goes right back to what you said. Right. Let me delay that for a few weeks. Mm-hmm. Let me elect who I'm going to put in that position, right. and we'll go ahead and play our cards that way. Absolutely. Literally. <laughs> so, no, literally. Yeah, we're gonna uh, talk- you're not going to talk about this again until I put the person in position who's going to give it a go in a green light. That gave me the chills because, like I said, shout out to Christy. You've been gang banging for sports betting to be legal. It's going to, no offense, and I'm not talking shit about New Jersey. It's a dirty fucking city downtown that could use some fucking money. You guys can Atlantic use some, City's in deep you shit. guys can use some yeah. paved roads. You can use some new schools and you can use the benefits of what sports betting and sports wagering will bring to the city and state. Amen, brother. And my friend out there in Philly, Jim Stevens, listen, man, it's coming, brother. It sure is. Uh, how many questions right now surrounding the New York Knicks? Let's get into a little basketball. The New York Knickerbockers, uh, they got all kinds of turmoil going on. Uh, I don't like them. I can't stand them. Phil Jackson and their face of the franchise. Uh, Phil, I've always loved. Not but me. Skip, I got to say, though, even a guy like myself, why do you think I love him? Think about I'm, my generation, though. I'm not sure. Well, just think about it. What's my generation? Uh, I'm the Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Anderson. yeah, yeah. All right, so I still have his face connected to Michael Jordan. Well, you should have Michael Jordan's face connected to him. Well, his face could be on the bottom of my balls. It really doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> you, tell me why you, you tell me why you like him, I'll tell you why I don't like because him. Because I've always looked at him as an OG. I've looked at him as a professional for mm-hmm. what he's done with the Chicago Bulls. Went over there to L.A., played the businessman a little while. But I'd have to say it's wearing off a little bit. In other words, I used to look at his face and look at success. I look at his face now, I look at oldness, and I look at it like it's time to go. You look at Carmelo Anthony crying next to his face right I now. actually look at, yeah. that's a good, uh, they both look old and tired to yeah. me. Yeah. I think they both need to go. However, I'll get to that in a second. I'm not, uh, a, Phil, fan, I'm not a fan of Phil Jackson. Uh, all this stemming from a losing streak in a very frustrating season, mm-hmm. uh, not only this year, uh, but for the last few years. The Knicks losing isn't nothing new. Carmelo Anthony said he is tired. And when he says tired, I mean, I look in his eyes, he's dead serious. Shout out to Carmelo. He's a friend of mine. Uh, to, he's tired of constantly answering questions about where he might stand with the New York Knicks. President Phil Jackson. Right. Who gives a fuck? I mean, really? Where do I stand? 
I mean, I'm a professional athlete. As long as you're doing your job and staying professional, it doesn't really matter. Talking to reporters for the first time since his meeting with Jackson, where he was asked, does he want to be a New York Nick? He said the conversation wasn't long at all. Oh, real short. Real, uh, uh, shorter than a fucking mouse's pussy lips. Shorter than a two-inch dick at a hip-hop porno. Oh, it doesn't get any shorter That's than that. That's pretty short, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anthony said, uh, we didn't break bread. <coughs> we, didn't, we didn't eat. We didn't hang out. We didn't talk like family. We didn't drink wine. Right. Uh, we didn't have an hour's conversation. It was a very short conversation. So if I had to break that down in hood talk, it was real quick and got nothing out of it. These two don't have much love. Yeah, okay? there's, there's not a whole lot to talk about when they get together these days. Well, I mean, you're Phil Jackson. I'm Carmelo. If I'm talking to you like that, it's all business, and I don't give a dog fuck about mm-hmm. you. I mean, what do you see? Getting, what, what do you see this? I don't know. I'm not a Phil Jackson fan. I, I think, I, it's our job to report what's going on, though, Skip. I mean, you get tired I, I think, of it. I think you nailed it on the head. I think they're tired of I think They're this, both tired. I think Anthony's tired of fucking having to answer questions for the organization. I think Phil Jackson is, is burnt out. I think he just needs to take... Uh, Take all your money and go away, dude. Carmelo's the player uh, that has to play 100-something games every day, and he has to face the fucking reporters every day. Uh, he has to answer the questions every day. He's got to come up with the lies. He's got to make up an excuse why they didn't play good mm-hmm. while Phil Jackson's in the penthouse right. uh, farting in his fucking bins on the way home. Yeah. So I'd have to say Carmelo does yeah. get hit every day, but at the same time, I don't feel sorry for you, Carmelo. You make hundreds of millions of dollars. You had a $40 million contract from Nike before you even stepped in and played your first game. So I'd have to say it comes with the territory. It's part of the business. You talk about repetitive. To have to deal with a fucking reporter every day while you played bad for 140 fucking games, fuck, I'd be disgusted too. Do you think... uh, any team would even want Carmelo at this point in his career? I could, wouldn't. I could wouldn't. he help Cleveland in a game seven against, uh, uh, you know? I, listen, I've always been a, a Carmelo fan, man. I was a big Syracuse fan. I still am. And uh, I'll tell you like this. Phil Jackson needs to retire. He's tired. I'm tired of his face. Right. The Jordan legacy is wore off. It's time for you to go. Uh, real similar to uh, our boy that was the biggest, uh, Pat Riley. Mm-hmm. I look at him out of Pat Riley. Didn't you see a time where Pat Riley, it's time to go? Comes a time you got to step aside. Yeah. Hey, you did your best. Now but it's time I bet for the rest. your best wasn't good enough. Good enough. You're never going to succeed in New York, Phil. I, mean, I want him to go. Here, now, let me give you my uh, just, opinion on just Carmelo Just retire Anthony. and go away. I think Carmelo Anthony's a great player. I think he is tired. I think he's tired of playing for the Knicks. I think the everyday grinds make him sick. If he did get traded to another team, I think he is a good player. I think he could be an asset. Do you want to make him a franchise player? No. I'd sign an average deal for two years for Carmelo Anthony. I think Carmelo Anthony could help your team for sure. Uh, you know, and it is what it is. Knicks did somehow beat the Red Hot uh, Celtics team 117-106 uh, when Derrick Rose came back from missing. Uh, he had 30 points, 10 boards, and Isaiah Thomas scored 39. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Isaiah Thomas. I like him. Yeah. Good friend of Floyd Money, mate. I think you saw him peel off the jersey and gave it to Money Mayweather. Yeah, I saw that. Floyd's bought him a car in the past. See, Floyd Mayweather's the only guy like ourselves that gets to make players' dreams come true. Think about Floyd's life. Floyd's the only guy that could be at the game. Guy scores 40 points, wins your ticket for you for 400 grand, <laughs> and you can actually give back and say, you know what, Isaiah? Great fucking game. There's a Lambo outside mm. because at one point you were down by 20 at the half. I thought I was losing a half a mil. Mm. Here it is. I want a half a mil. I'm going to give half that money to you because you're the reason, after all, I did win. Mm. But I don't want players mixing in with shit like that because we got to keep it legal because uh, at the end of the day, there's no fixed games. They set a line. You bet on the game. I just love that you can go to the game and actually get involved. But Floyd's actually a guy that can inter- inter- intertween and a little bit more than I do and rub shoulders with the big boys. Kind of like we get involved with UNLV Rebel games when we're on crown. Oh, that's a fact. Well, how about when the assistant coach wanted to kick us out? No, bitch, you'll get kicked out. <laughs> Did that's, you, huh? that's what I was referencing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get into that story later because we got a long other, podcast. That's a whole other podcast. But, yeah, we're yelling at the player because we got 100000 on the game. First of all, the player's talking shit. I had to tell him, instead of worrying about me, worry about playing defense, you yeah. sorry motherfucker. Make a rebound. You're the reason why they're scoring like a motherfucker. Make a rebound, you You're dumb seven bitch. foot. Get a rebound, you sorry bastard. <laughs> and then the lady... <laughs> anyway, speaking of the Warriors, last night, Kevin Durant scored 40 against his old team, Oklahoma City. They won by 20, despite Russell Westbrook's 21 triple-double of the season. Mm. 21st triple-double. Listen, I always said Westbrook played better without Durant on the team. What a fucking monster. That's because he's a ball hawk. What a fucking, well, of course. But Durant, what a monster as well. Too bad for those two superstars that they couldn't play together and make it work. I'm telling you, I always love both of their games. 
but obviously we could see they weren't good friends or they'd still be playing together. Right? Right. You follow me, correct? I do. Let's move on to the Clippers. Chris Paul out six to eight weeks uh, mm. getting thumb surgery, uh, which means a team might get a good old thumb right up their ass. Yeah, huh? yeah. Blake Griffin has been injured again recently. Can the Clippers team ever win a title? Are they forever jinxed? What's the deal with this team, Skip? Uh-huh. Are they doing too many commercials? Uh, is Chris Paul too worried about insurance? Is, uh, uh, is uh, our boy getting too, is he too worried about his Kia commercials? Blake Griffin, what's going on? Chris Paul's a free agent after the season, and Blake Griffin, I don't know. I mean, I... I'm not mad at them for getting endorsements, but they are focused more than their commercials than they are on staying healthy and making money. They're not winning shit. No, I, I don't. I, well, it is what it is. And, and to be honest the with NBA you... The NBA uh, is a two-team league, Steve. I mean, there's nobody touching the Cavaliers in the East. I mean, who's going to beat them? Toronto? I don't think so. No. Uh, and, nobody's touching the Warriors in the West. I mean, would you like to say anything... Who's ab- going to beat them? The Spurs? No. Nobody. Would you like to say anything about the NBA before I move on, Skip? Oh, I love the NBA. Steve. Go ahead. What do you have? I just said it. I mean, it's a two-team fucking league. It's, it's Golden State and it's Cleveland all day, every day. Doesn't mean those and, two teams win against the spread and, every... Like, you can bet those... Uh, actually, they're two of the worst teams against the spread. I was just going to say, yeah. so make sure you stay clear. Like, guys... Uh, you know, we'll report to you. They're the two number one teams all day long that are winning. But as far as betting against the spread, if you bet those two teams every week, you're losing. every day, you're losing money, period. Yeah, absolutely. You're not even hitting 50%. Uh, anything else you want to talk about in NBA? Because I want to move no, on. not really. My main focus is on uh, a couple playoff uh, games left in football and, more importantly, college basketball. College basketball, absolute gold mine. Hockey's been a gold mine. Your hockey totals have been on fire, dude. I'll get to that in a minute. I don't know where you're getting those hockey totals. I oh, don't worry about that. I'll just Woo! As long as they keep winning, don't matter where they come oh. from. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, Just keep paying that sword. Doesn't that, matter. That, that's all I can. It doesn't matter if little Dominic's pitching them. As long as they keep winning, eh, that's all that fucking matters. Wherever you're getting those hockey, those NHL totals, just keep paying them, please. All right. Uh, number seven ranked Creighton Blue Jays are 18 and one. Uh, we've mentioned Creighton pretty much every podcast over the last four weeks. Uh, a team that has been covering big fucking time. Oh Skip. yeah, they have. Uh, I'd like to say that we've got a lot of money. It's uh, you know they top the Big East. Uh, they are also one of the uh, best teams against the spread, which we said overall, after the, I'd have to say, what are they, 13 and 3, 13 and 4 against the spread? I don't right. want to be exact. Right around We're right. not Dan Patrick. I don't have a researcher. Hey, Joe, what the? To make it sound good, I, I just have to go off the top of the head. They're, they're somewhere around 13 and 4, 13 and 5, right around there, Steve. But understand this, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but you know the big stud, the big pimp over there, Maurice uh, Watson? Junior. Yeah, well. They call, him, they call him Junior over there. He suffered a knee injury and will keep him out for the remainder of the season. Ah, uh, not good. Uh, this was their guy's superstar point guard, guys. Not good. Uh, not good at all. How does that affect the Blue Jays? It affects them big fucking time. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, does it make uh, betting on them a little cautious for the next few games? Yes, it does. fucking lootly yeah. You talk about absolute blowout winner? Absolutely stay off them for a couple days. This is not a- saying they can't win in cover because they got momentum, but the star point guard goes out, the guys don't know how to make the line. Yeah, exactly. What, that's exactly what I was going to explain briefly. When a when the star player goes down like that, bookies don't know really what to do. On a top team that's thirteen and four against the spread this season, they might get uh, one of the best in the nation. Now the odds makers are going crazy because now they don't know how to readjust the numbers on those games. And these are games to either stay away from, or if you got the right information, like Steve usually does, those are games that you can seriously capitalize on if you know whether or not they've overcompensated on the line Correct. or undercompensated on the line. Because just like he said, he can say uh, the point guard is hurt instead of them being uh, minus seven, let's make them a pick em. They can overcompensate and you take Creighton as a fucking blowout winner. Right. It depends. They can make them minus 14 in a situation they should be 10. Mm-hmm. Nine, so correct. Who fucking knows? If you want to know where the overcompensation and the undercompensation is, VIP Sports Las that, Vegas.com. That's once again, don't, that's what we do for you guys. Let, don't throw darts to guess is cheap, my friend. We'll if, be your Huckleberry. If you guess wrong, it could be very expensive. Cheap eight, things aren't good. Good eight, things seven, aren't cheap. 6540 Pick up the phone and call. One call, that's all. We'll explain it to you. Top five teams, Villanova. Uh, they're also 13 and six against the spread. Represent. Number two, Kansas, uh, six and 10 against the spread. Mm. No uh, if you're looking for head, don't bet pe- fucking Kansas to win with the spread. I tell you that right uh, now. Yeah. Uh, rock yeah. Chalk Jayhawk. Uh, there are chalks a lot. <laughs> rock Chalk Jayhawk is a lot of chalk. Our that, motto was. That's not covering. But I'm saying our hashtag is beat the spread, get some head. Mm-hmm. Definitely keep Kansas off your ticket. That's for sure. Yeah. Top winning team, shitty against the spread. Mm-hmm. UCLA 11 and 8 uh, against the spread. Not good enough. Uh, UCLA is a team that uh, I'm very very excited about, Skip. To be exact, they play Arizona State tonight in a marquee matchup. They're minus 18. I think the total on that uh, 
is 181. Is that right? Well, that being said, uh, you do have your Pac-12 game of the month tonight you were telling me about earlier. Well, this is before, before I go on, though. I just want to give a shout-out to UCLA. They've had their best start uh, with 18-1, and one, mm-hmm. their best start since 2006, Congratulations. Uh, 2007 season. Uh, pretty much 10 years. So I wish the UNLV running Rebels can come back. So it's nice to see a team that used to be good turn to shit and come back. Right. It, uh, you know, congratulations, Shout UCLA. out to the Bruins out there. That's goddamn right. Uh, number four, uh, which just, I'm all over their dick. Gonzaga. Uh, Gonzaga, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, number four. And they're 12-2 and two against the spread. Uh, making serious money with Hashtag Gonzaga. Hashtag y- y- uh, get... <laughs> Beat the spread, get ahead, make sure Gonzaga's on your ticket yes. every single week. Like I said, this is Representing a team. Representing Spokane, Washington, Gonzaga. Uh, so how did you say Spokane again? Spokane, Washington. Spokane, huh? Mm-hmm. Spokane, Washington? S- Spokane, get the cocaine. It's called Spokane. Well, Spokane, Spokane. Spokane, Spokane. You, you can smoke cocaine. You can smoke cane or you can smoke can. No, well. Spokane, 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 Washington. Gonzaga represent in the house. All right, now let's talk about that. 12 for, and 2 against the spread. That's well, big money. Let's talk about that real quick. Gonzaga plays Santa Clara tonight. Mm-hmm. Gonzaga's minus 14 skip with a total of uh, 137. Yes. Uh, just to be exact, Gonzaga is the only undefeated team uh, in the nation at 17 and 0. Mm. Uh, they're fucking a lot of hoes. Yes. <laughs> they're pretty much the uh, Drake uh, of the basketball uh, association yep. this year. College basketball. Those, those starters are walking around like uh, superstars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned uh, earlier in the year, the best team west of the Mississippi by far is Gonzaga, and uh, they're one of the best teams in the country. Would a marquee they're match- the best team west of the Mississippi. Would a, marquee they're, they're matchup, would a marquee matchup tonight, minus 14 with a 137 spread. Mm. Uh, I have information on that game. Like I said, you might want to give us a call. And then number five, Kentucky. Kentucky's number five with a 12 and six spread. Not bad. Uh, well, dude, let's just be real here. You hear 12 and six and you think that's terrible, that's actually 66%. Yep. So if you're betting Kentucky all year, you're winning against the spread and the sports books more than anybody else. Two out of three. Because if you're in 66% all year long, uh, you're considered to be one of the best in the world. Uh, the reason why I got my show on 60 uh, on CNBC is because I showed them something over 40 year over four years, which they said was humanly impossible, and that was actually the number, Skip, mm-hmm. to hit over 66%. Hit 70% for four years straight. That's how I got my That's show. That's a phenomenal rate. It is what it is. One other matchup I'd like to say in college before we move on. Cal against Oregon tonight, Skip. Right. Oregon's minus nine with 131 total. Uh, Oregon's won 15 straight, uh, pretty much uh, 5-0 and in the Pac-12. You better look out for those motherfuckers. Oregon. I know Paparazzi's a big fan of those Oregon Ducks. Shout out shout to out the out Ducks. To, shout out to Paparazzi, by the way. Paparazzi's in here taking care of the podcast today. He's banged up. He's got a broken knee. He's banged up. He has to have surgery. He has to have his knee place yeah. replaced. Has to get screws the whole nine yards. So Shout out to Paparazzi being a trooper. VIP sports guys are soldiers. When I tell you my salesmen, my employers are willing to die for this fucking job, willing to do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face and make you money, it's what they're doing. Give us a call for your chance to make more money than you could possibly ever imagine. Uh, basketball's on fire right now. College basketball especially. We're hitting high 70s. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot to pick and choose from. Don't play games just because they're on the board. Fair enough? Fair enough. Uh, best thing since sliced bread, Steve Stevens college basketball. <laughs> I can't agree with I mean, I can't disagree with that. Why don't we move on to the NFL championship weekend? Let's do uh, it. Let's just touch down on this very quickly. Big weekend. I got uh, a couple things to say about this weekend. Well, no, no, no. This is going to be a main part of our show mm-hmm. because, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, like I said, it's championship week. Be glad we yeah. didn't. We be glad we didn't base our whole show based off these two mm-hmm. games because nothing else really matters when it comes down to the public. Because ninety percent of the public, uh, out of a hundred percent of people that bet, ninety percent bet with the uh, NFL and what's on TV. Oh yeah. Only ten percent sharp bettors actually bet the games that make money. The public loves the NFL, my friend. And it's our job to tell these people who they should bet on, give them a little information, mm-hmm. give them a little insight, and give them a little educated decision on who they can bet on their own. Then after that, call us so we can show you how to make real money in baskets. Fair enough? Fair enough. Because Super Bowl and playoffs, uh, like a day like this, is a day for amateurs. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah. It's a day for grandma, grandpa, Everybody aunts, comes- uncles, the dishwasher, the car washer, mm-hmm. the insurance broker, uh, the dope dealer. I mean, you see everybody. I mean, Skip, be honest. Everybody In the last week, the you've seen everybody at the book, They're right? coming out of the woodwork. The books are, are, are fuller than they've ever been. 
Will this controversy in Pittsburgh be a distraction? Let's just start with this. Everybody knows Steelers versus New England. Uh, Mike Tomlin called his post-game locker room language regrettable. Uh, anytime you have cameras and cell phones and young players, you got to remember, even though these players are good on the field, they're very young. Some of them are immature. Some of them are uh, overpaid. Um, some of them want to be rappers. Some of them want to... They have another life besides football. And they have their phones. And you got to remember, when you say stuff, Skip, I think you learned the hard way. You got to be careful where you say it. So, supposedly, what, he says his language is regrettable. Tell him what they're talking about, Skip. Well, I mean, Antonio Brown... Uh, he streamed the video. Yeah, he basically taped Mike Tomlin's locker room speech. Tomlin had a locker room speech, ladies and gentlemen, just trying to motivate the troops. It's supposed to be a closed-door speech. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be able to say things that no one can hear, that nobody that. fucking repeats, yeah. that nobody wants to hear, so he can fire you up to go beat these motherfuckers and play your heart out. Mm -hmm. You can imagine the things that I would say, Skip. You, <laughs> you got to dig down deep and get in these people's hearts to get in their feelings to get them to go out there and play. Mm -hmm. That's what a true motivational person does to inspire their crew. That's what makes me set above everybody else. So he's doing his thing. He's talking shit. What did he say, Skip? He said something about these. Uh, we spotted these assholes. He was talking about the Patriots. We called them out. And, we and, see their weaknesses. Yeah. And we've spotted out these assholes yeah. and these motherfuckers. Yeah. And we're going to attack them. Right. And uh, apparently Antonio Brown, the top receiver for the Steelers, was taping Mike Tomlin. You're a fucking idiot. He was taping, he was videotaping the whole fucking thing on his phone. Stick to rapping, dude. You're a fucking idiot. And then he went and posted the fucking thing. He, he streamed it up online on, right. on, on, on his social media, and uh, all hell broke loose. It was a foolish thing for him to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it, it was self very selfish for, for, for him to put that out or whatever the case is. Um, Very inconsiderate. That's what Tomlin said. Well, not, and, and I agree with him, not only to the organization and the team, mm -hmm. but to him as a person. Because you got to understand, Skip, it's, it's as a head coach, it's your job to dig down deep and to get these players in their feelings and emotion and to bring the best out of them. That's the difference of a champion head coach and just a head coach. Uh, everybody has professional players. Wouldn't it be fair to say every coach has professional players on the team? It's what professional champion head coach can pull out the superstar out of these players and make them play together, just, make them execute together, make them be the superstar that they are and get them to play well with others. And here's what I don't like. You're supposed to have closed doors. You're supposed to be able to say whatever you say. It's supposed to be a special part of your organization. When we have our closed meetings and we say things and I get down and we talk about business, that's in between us and the troops and nobody else's business. Just like when uh, people deal with us and they call us on the phone. It's like I tell them, don't share our information with anybody because we sure as fuck ain't selling your phone number to nobody. You know, we don't want nobody else to have your phone number. We don't want nobody else to bother you, especially if we're working with you trying to make money. Mm -hmm. Same thing with our information. Don't give our games to nobody because we sure as fuck aren't selling your number to nobody. Right. Very disrespectful. And it's I don't a, know what the hell you're Well, it's Brown embarrassing said. because now Tomlin probably feels like he can't be himself and he can't express himself and he might not be able to get the speech to motivate the troops due to some motherfucker recording. Anyway, it was embarrassing. Cell phones should not be allowed in the locker room at all. That's what I said. I mean, you got to answer to your other teammates. You know the coach is pissed the off. Question, you. My question, I mean, what, what are you trying to prove there? My man? question of the day is. Uh, when you're, if you're a professional athlete and you're in your locker room where it's nobody but you, your team, and the coaches, should cell phones be allowed? Yes or no? I say no. What do you say? I say no. Beautiful. Uh, let's get into the game. 6.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Foxborough. Pittsburgh plus six at the New England Patriots with a 51 total. Talk to me, Skip. Well, I'm going to say something very interesting here about uh, the New England Patriots and Tom Brady. At, before we get into it, like I said, we're going to break this shit down. It's the playoffs. What we're going to get into right now is the injury report, what we feel, what's going on, what's hot, what's not. And like I said, Pittsburgh is plus six. The total is 51. They're at New England. And uh, like I said, Skip, let's talk about this game a little bit. Well, I, I, I've seen the total be bet down. I saw a couple places were even showing 50 on this total. Yeah. Looks like there's some money coming in on the under. There really uh, is. New England is 14-2 and two against the spread this year. I mean, they just cover every fucking game. Yes, they do. Um, I... I as far as the injury report Shout goes... Shout out to Tom Brady. Uh, I want to talk about Tom Brady for a second. I'm fuck gonna... around and put a half a meal on Tom Brady. When it comes to betting sports, Steve Stevens a beast. You want a certified winner called VIP Sports. I think I'm going to light your eyes up for a second when I say this. I think you might be seeing Tom Brady's last game as a Patriot. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe his last game ever. Yeah. 
Now, you're going to hear it right here, right now, Podcast 105. Well, that's a dumbass statement, but go ahead. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, you got someone that's assassinating no. him or something? No, 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 no. He's 30, we need to he's, call the police? Or? He's 39 years old. If he wins the Super Bowl, what else does he Is have? Is Ted still looking for his sperm? What does, he have, what? what does he have to prove if he wins the Super Bowl? I say he retires if he wins the Super Bowl. What does he have to prove if he wins the Super you Bowl? You want to hear something crazy? It means that he's the, he, you can say he might be the best of all time. Yeah, what a great time it to puts retire. him on the Joe Montana level. Mm-hmm. Um, he's had a composed uh, season besides de- de- deflating his balls. He has a super water. He, he's got a he real suspe- composed life. He was suspended for four games because of the deflate game. Mm-hmm. He takes his suspension. He's out there throwing balls with Harbaugh and Giselle. He on comes, his boat in the Caribbean. Yeah, he comes back, okay? down in Costa Rica, just living life. And wins a Super Bowl. He comes back, throws for over 3,500 yards. Baddest motherfucker in the game right now. Set, set the touchdown interception ratio record. They couldn't hold Brady's nuts in an orgy. That's how yeah, good he I is. I mean, he's just a beast. These I mean, other guys don't even yeah. compare. He's 39 years old. He comes back after all this, has an amazing season, and wins a Super Bowl? I say he just says, see you later, adios. I agree. I mean, that, That's my projection. I, I, now, I now, thought you... Wanna you, hear, said, you want to hear something more crazy? I didn't understand what you said. You, you acted like this might be his last game. It might be his last... I, he might be playing his last game in, in Foxborough. So you're saying he loses the game. He, there's a good chance he'd be done. No, I'm saying if he wins the Super Bowl, if this I were This isn't hit, his last game. There's and, two more games, Skip. Oh, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Obviously not. What I'm saying is this could be his last game in Foxborough. Oh, in Foxborough. And it, okay, yeah. And it could be his, <laughs> la- and it could be his last game as it a... It could be. And it could be his last game as a Patriot. Here's what I project. Here's what I see in the future. I, if they lose, not a chance. If they lose, I think there's a chance he they doesn't. might. I think there's a chance they might let him go. How do you like that? Are you, dude? Listen, I said in the beginning of the podcast, you're like, having a bad day today, dude. How do you like <laughs> you're, that? You're losing your fucking mind. I bro. think if Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl, he should retire, and maybe and probably will. You if just I said he him, might get fired if they lose. I didn't. I, they might let him go. They might let him go. They might let him go if he loses <laughs> this game. You think that's crazy? Buddy, yeah, yeah, that'd be like me letting you go. Yeah, it is crazy. Okay, well, let's yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's not happening. Don't be surprised if he loses this game to the Steelers, if he's not playing for the Patriots next year. I'd have to say the Patriots are too deep of fans. They love Brady. I think he's got another few years in him. I say if they lose, he continues to play. He wins a Super Bowl. There might be a 50% chance he retires. If he, if he loses, I, I'm not saying he's going to no. retire. I think he'll be a quarterback somewhere else, like maybe the L.A. Rams. Okay, but check this out. This they, has no bearing on the game we're talking about, I him retiring. I'm just, so I'm you, just he can retire it. and he's nuts. I'm throwing that out there. Okay. And, For, it do, and it does have a lot of bearing on this game this weekend. I'm the, saying this. So he's could, playing with his heart. This could very easily be his last game played I get it. In, in Foxborough. I get it. So he's going e- down. Either way, win or lose. He's going down deep to, to try to, to go as hard as he can. Absolutely. fucking moving. Well, if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, I suggest you roll with Brady to the rims, the tires, and everything fall the fuck off. Ooh. Tell you that right now. Um, one thing I'll tell you is some injuries. As of Wednesday, January 18th, 2017, New England Patriots, uh, these are people who did not participate. Skip, you want to read? Uh, Danny Amendola, his ankle's all fucked up. Wide receiver. Not tight. participating. Tight end, Martellus Bennett, his knee's all banged up. Yep. Running back, Brandon Bolton, his knee's all banged up. Yep. Uh, wide receiver, Chris Hogan, he's got a sore thigh. Yeah, I got a sore thigh, too. Well, they what? fuck so much. Yeah. Your, th- your thighs are going to be <laughs> sore all the time, dude. You guys make millions. All you do is fuck. Suck it up, Hogan. Uh, wide receiver, uh, Malcolm Mitchell, busted up knee. Linebacker, uh, Dante Hightower, shoulders all fucked up. Uh, I think every one of them will be in there banging hard. Yeah, I don't think it means anything. I think it did, it's do not participate. Mm-hmm. Don't think it's anything to worry about at this time for you people that are watching it. Just means some big boys that they don't want banged up anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, yeah, these are people that didn't participate. Running back. Le'Veon uh, Bell, what a beast. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's uh, not injury-related. He's just getting a little rust. Correct. Chris Boswell, uh, he's sick. Illness, flu. Yeah, he's got Sh- the flu. He's got the... Uh... Sean Davis <laughs> had his shoulder hurt. He's been brushing off his shoulder so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, B.J. Uh, Finney, illness. Uh, Darius Hayward, uh, Abe Bay, has an illness. Uh, and, of course, Zach... Seems like all these guys have illnesses. They've been going to the same strip club or what? Uh, hello. I think the same strippers have been hello. getting all these motherfuckers This sick. is information we should have not been putting out on the podcast. No, partner. no. We didn't uh, think Mercedes or Lexus was going to get to these motherfuckers. Uh, huh? There's a little illness going on. A around. lot of inside information you guys don't know about when a, a whole team rolls into the strip club and a couple local strippers we know have the fucking flu. They little, might have not have wanted to took some head from them girls. Little illness going around in the Steeler locker room. I mean, Ben Rothensburg's uh, not playing, non-injury related. Vince Williams, shoulder. Limited participation, uh, Anthony Chiquillo. None of this shit matters. None of this shit fucking matters. Bottom line is a lot of guys ain't playing right now because they don't want to see him. Yeah, they're sitting out. They don't want to get banged up. Listen, if you got to practice now, practice. Correct. We don't need to get into injuries. Skip, 
Like I said, we're not going to have time to have another podcast, um, although we do want to keep you guys up to date. As of right now, these guys aren't playing because they're getting ready for the big game. I think it's going to be a marquee matchup. I think Pittsburgh uh, is going into Foxborough with the New England Patriots, stellar to say the least. They should um, be. They should. There should be two great games, man. Only thing they're missing is Gronk to have an, on a one to ten. They'd be an eleven with Gronk. Right now, they're nine point five. The Green Bay Packers heading into Atlanta. Shout out, Steve. Steve projected the Atlanta Falcons were to sleep around a year. Here he we said, are. He said they'd be there at the end, and here we are at the end. Uh, one game away from the Super Bowl, and Atlanta is hosting the NFC Championship game against the Green Bay Packers, a team that Steve and I never saw coming this far. Uh, wow, that's going to be one hell of a game, too, in the dome down why, there. Why don't we talk about that Woo! game a little bit, Skip? Wow. Like I said, uh, Green Bay, to their credit, um, they played shitty to start the year, never liked them. They're playing fucking red hot right they now. They are looking They're good. playing like a world-class fucking team. They're playing like mm-hmm. world champions. Um, whoever was holding out on the pussy from Rodgers earlier in the season is now giving it to him. She's not giving him any hassle at all. He's having it his way. And you people out there in Green Bay, whatever you're doing, he's sure fucking coming through with flying colors. Total so, on this game is 62, Steve. Green Bay's playing uh, 100% wow. where they need to be. However, on the other side of the token, an Atlanta team that's been playing tough and hard all year long. I think Matty Ice is going to have a field day against this Green Bay secondary. I, I got to be honest with you, Skip. This is a game that I'm betting six figures on without mm. any shadow of a doubt. It might be a game. I post my tickets. By the way, I got four more warnings from our uh, mm. people that you don't want to bother you not to post tickets. Um, so we probably won't be posting nothing for a while. Um, the reason why I don't post every day, I've told you guys this over and over and over. Uh, we don't have anything to prove. Uh, I get bothered all the time by uh, casinos, uh, several authorities, IRS, FBI, guys that you just don't want bothering you, bottom fucking line. Right. They've asked us not to post, so we allow you to keep doing your business. Stop posting. So anyway, I'll probably post a ticket. <laughs> I'll probably post one for 100 or 200 Gs, but... Knowing you, that goes in one ear and out the other. It's, it, it, it's a game that I, that I've, I, I truly, uh, not only do I have my heart and soul in, but I don't, I don't bet with my heart when it comes to betting cream. That Atlanta Green Bay game, I have definite information on. Uh, it's going to be a game that you guys have no idea. Everybody and their mom, by the looks of things, are betting Green Bay. Uh, they think Green Bay's got the hot hand right now. Uh, people better understand. Skip, you want to give some stats Retin about Atlanta at home? Betting the over. Do you want to give any stats about the over? I do under? not. I don't want to give away anything on this game, Steve. Okay. Uh, I want them to. I think you basically just said. You're making a big play on the game. Correct. I don't want to give any. I don't want people to try to read in between the lines. And so you got to, Green Bay at the Atlanta. You want to give them the line and the. Uh, I don't want them to try to figure out. Atlanta's minus five. The totals up to 62. Marquee matchup. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time of year where you need us. It's not time to just roll the dice and guess. That's for sure. I will give you one last stat, and then we're going to get off the NFL and move on, if you don't mind. Let's do it. Is that cool? Yeah. Uh, here's a little stat for everybody out there. 13 out of the last 14 Super Bowls, including this year. Have all went over. No. 13 out of the last four Super Bowls have either featured Peyton Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, or Tom Brady. Now, the NFL says that there's a lot of parity out there, right, uh-huh. Steve? You would like to think that this any team could beat any other team in the NFL on any given week. It's not, right? uh, unfortunately, this wasn't a year for that. Bottom line, when it comes right down to it, 13 out of the last 14 Super Bowls have either had Peyton Manning in them, Tom Brady, or Ben Roethlisberger. They know who to hire. There's no parity out there. No, they know exactly who the fucking best are. It sounds And to they're me, rolling their dice with the best. It sounds to me like the Manning family, the Kraft family up in New England, yeah. and the Rooney family out there in Pittsburgh pretty much own the NFL. That's they, got, they got the monopoly nah, on the NFL that's for that's sure. That's pretty, pretty much the way I see it, Steve. It's the way it is. Parity my ass. Yeah, suck a fucking cock. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a great weekend. <laughs> it's fucking cold. Uh, you know, get with your family, go to a party, and just enjoy some good sports, mm. bottom line. This week is a great week to watch two stellar marquee matchups on Sunday. Should be one of the best Sundays you guys have had. Get with your family, get with your friends, enjoy it, and don't forget, don't drink and drive. We want to keep you guys sober, and we want to keep you alive. Your family is more important than anything. So if you do have fun uh, during these games, don't drink and drive. Have somebody take you just like the big skip does. There's too many lifts and Ubers That's that right. can take you everywhere for too cheap of a too price. Too many limos. In Last the- thing I want you doing is losing 100000 or winning a half a million and taking my son's life because you get in a fucking car drunk 
uh, on a, at a Super Bowl. Party. Amen, brother. Too many limos in this town to be driving drunk, Steve. Let's get into boxing. UFC fighter Nick Diaz applies for his boxing license in Nevada, mm. which isn't a secret. Uh, all these people uh, are realizing that Dana White and them are like Don King. They don't pay nobody nothing to fight. They're making all the fucking money, and uh, they're treating their fighters like shit as far as money. Uh, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. told ESPN.com uh, he and Diaz had spoken recently uh, and that Diaz was unhappy with his inactivity since his last UFC fight against Colin McGregor in August. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when we talked to Nate Diaz, uh, he told the UFC he had been put on the shelf, pretty much. Mayweather said, uh, uh, since the second fight with Conor McGregor, they put me on the shelf and I'm ready to stay busy, stay active. Can you see more and more UFC guys moving into the boxing world? It appears to be that way. Absolutely. I can see it all day long. There's more money, uh, and you can get paid more money, period. But one thing I would like to say to Dana White, brother, uh, you have $400 million now. Let me break it down in your payroll. Um, you were part of UFC in the beginning. Uh, Lorenzo Fertitta, Frank Fertitta put all the money behind you. They did everything. You're a superstar. You came up with, you, you, you bought the idea and you made it happen. I'm not taking any credibility away from you at all. And you're worth $400 million. But to see your little videos and your, your Lambo and acting like you're hard and acting like Floyd is under you and Floyd is a little dick and acting like, I'll give you 25, Floyd, and we'll give Colin 25. They're even players. They're not even players, brother. Uh, Colin is the biggest thing in UFC. That's fine and dandy for a couple years. Big difference when you're talking about a guy that's ran the game for two decades. 50 and 0. Two decades, 50 and 0. So you're wrong about that, dude. I mean, I'm not hating on you. You got 400 million, but you're a guy, you're a dork that has 400 million. Before you had your money in UFC, you were a dork. You're still a dork. You started training with the guys. Now you shave your head, got on a little juice. You're walking around. You got your 400. Hey, guys, this is Dana White. Take the money, Floyd. Dana, no one's buying into your bullshit. I love you. UFC's good. I love everything about UFC. You rob all your people. You don't pay them top money. You don't pay Colin top money. You've had to feud with your people just to get paid. Ronda Rousey's no longer there. You guys are fucked there. Your number one bitch got knocked out. No one wants to see any other women fight. They're too fucking ugly. <laughs> Your stock went down 20% when Ronda lost. You paid her $3 million. So here's what you do. You partner up with Floyd Mayweather for Floyd Mayweather Productions. You give Colin McGregor his $25 million. You partner up with Floyd. Be glad that Floyd's willing to give you the money. And you and Floyd partner up. And you shut the fuck up on the money you make. And don't worry about anything else. Pay Colin his 25 And you and Floyd, let Floyd go ahead and make his 150 You go ahead and make your 100 and you both shut the fuck up. That's how I look at it, right? You're because it would be the easiest money in the world for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Anybody that knows boxing, we're not talking UFC, guys, so don't start putting in comments, well, if it was UFC, Floyd would blah, blah, blah. We're talking about boxing. And boxing, um, I can give you 10 guys that aren't even in the game no more. Uh, Zab, Judah, uh, Castillo. I can name you boxers from 10 years ago that, that could come in and beat the fuck out of McGregor right now. Easy money for you, Floyd. Dana White. Stop acting like you're hard. Stop acting like you're in control. Let Mayweather Productions do it. Uh, get it done, unsanctioned, whatever you guys got to do. Pay your guy $25 million and shut the fuck up with what you and Floyd make because you're going to make more than Colin and Floyd's going to make more than Colin. Promote the fight, get it done. It's easy money for Floyd. You don't have to do shit, Dana. And Colin, go take that easy $25 million. Should be the best thing in the world. A lot of money for everybody and a great entertainment event for Las Vegas. And that's the bottom fucking line. I'll pretty much leave it at that, Skip. Other entertainment news, Alanis Morissette uh, gets robbed uh, by her longtime manager, Jonathan Stewart, pled guilty to two felonies connected with embezzling scheme that took her for over 4.8 million. Yeah. She ain't going down on you in a theater for robbing her for 4.8. I can tell you that right mm. fucking now. You know what I mean? According to the feds, Shorts, who also managed Beyonce and Mariah, admits to jacking the bitch for four years for a total of $4.8 million. Says he also took about $2 million from other clients. Jonathan Schwartz. Fucking thief, huh? Just uh, robbing his clients. Doing your thing. Shout out to Schwartz for just being an all-out thief. Mm. Here's the story I like better than anything. Justin Bieber, supposedly jealous over Selena Gomez's relationship with The Weeknd. Skip, I was showing you the pictures. Selena Gomez and The Weeknd have been real lovey-dovey mm -hmm. and spotted very close over the last few, you know, weeks. You know, pictures on TMZ, them tongue-kissing. 
Bieber doesn't like the fact that she's getting her back blown out at all. The weekend's dropping a 10-inch cock over there beating the pussy up, <laughs> and Bieber doesn't like it at all. Oh, boy. Not everybody is a fan of the relationship, though. Uh, as Selena's ex-boyfriend, Justin Bieber, released a statement saying that Selena uses people when she wants to collaborate on a new song for her album. Well, no shit. You can't be mad at her for that. Business is business. Business is business. Didn't you just see J-Lo sucking Drake's dick? If you got a... Jay, listen, that, that lot, that's what these women do. Mariah Carey fucked with Tommy Mottolo. J-Lo sucked Puffy's dick. A lot of people suck cock to get to the top, Justin. Yeah. What the... Listen, you got... You were blessed, dude. You were a fucking YouTube sensation as a 12-year-old kid. You're one in a million, bro. You got hundreds of millions. You should be blessed. But for women... A lot of them don't have it that easy, bro. So, like I said, uh, when you say that she's sucking the weekend's dick to collaborate, that's what you're supposed to do. Hey, you got to take 10 inches to get to the top. That's, no. I mean, that's what it takes. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, Justin. She didn't know that she was going to fuck the guy to get a hit song and then get her back blown out. She didn't know that she was going to, you know, uh, he hit a spot that's never been hit before. Oh. He went a couple inches deeper than the average guy. He mm. took her down to deep waters. Yeah. With the, with the great, with, with the big whales and the great white fucking sharks. It was one hell of a weekend. With he the took weekend. her down mm. deep waters with the killer whales and the Ooh. great white sharks. And he hit that point where she dropped a tear and now she's in love. But Justin, listen, your, your girl chose up, bro. She's with the weekend. Yes, she was fucking hitting him to collaborate for a song. It ended up turning into a little more. Look at Drake. Drake, J-Lo was approaching Drake to do a nice little song to have a number one hit. He ended up hitting the fuck out of her pussy with a couple of those new uh, hotline bling. He hit that pussy with the hotline bling moves, and she loved it. So now it turned in, they both got their songs, they got number one hits, they fucked for three months, and that's what it is. Get over it, Bieber. God, it is what it is. God bless it goes her. back to the, Madonna did it, yeah. Cher did it, Mariah Carey did it, everybody did it. You know what I say to you? Congratulations, Ariana. Keep licking them balls and keep sucking cock to get to the top, sweetie. Selena. Selena Gomez, I mean. Well, Ariana's doing it, too. Well, she does it, too. Well, she's got... She, she doesn't just lick donuts, Steve. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she licks that, you know, you know the seam that connects your ball sack? Uh, <laughs> they say she's a seamstress. Yeah. We'll leave it at that, my well, friend. She likes Boston creams and not, and, and not the donut kind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much what's going on in sports. VIP Sports Podcast is here to educate you on the sports betting ins and outs, how to be a better sports better, the money management and discipline part of it, and how to make a second income. No money's being made in the stock market right now. We want to show you how to grab a second income. Go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Let us make your bank account a little bigger than when you called us. Like I said, sports betting's this close to being legal. Make sure you get out there and vote. When you see a vote, uh, our petition, make sure you take part. FanDuel, DraftKings, where are you guys? The least you can do is put millions of dollars in supporting the legalization of sports betting. Right, Skip? Amen. Um, we have some big fucking football games going off for you this week. Uh, Green Bay and Atlanta, Patriots and Pittsburgh Steelers. It's definitely the time to celebrate. It's definitely the time to make money. But don't be fooled. Playoffs and Super Bowl are a day for the amateurs. It's a day for little kids. It's a day for bus boys. It's a day that works at guy that works at Chief Auto Parts. Everybody and their mom bets. Mm -hmm. The real money is in college basketball. Do not be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you that right now, and I won't tell you again. There's more money to be made in, in college basketball than any sport. You asked 2017, what should you do? Stay motivated. Become a master closer. Remember this, sales runs the world. See, I could have all the winning games in the world. If I don't have a mouthpiece and no one to give them to, my games don't be nothing. So what I want you guys to do, ladies and gentlemen out there, for 2017, be a better person, be a better salesman. Don't take no for an answer. If somebody's skeptical, overcome their objection with the right rebuttal. Skepticism is a sign of intelligence. If you weren't skeptical, I'd probably think something was wrong with you. Somebody doesn't want to buy your car. Somebody doesn't want to uh, buy your package. Let me ask you a question. If you saw a hundred dollar bill blowing in the wind, would you pick it up or would you let it blow by? You'd pick it up? Well, then pick up this new car. Pick up this package because it's going to better your life. Don't miss opportunity of a lifetime. Don't trip over a nickel to pick up a penny. Be a master closer. Stay focused, but you have to listen. I'll tell you guys again, you could be the loudest salesman in the world, but you have to listen because someone will tell you how to sell them. And remember, you can sell a deal and earn a commission. You can make a friend and earn a fortune. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, anyone can sell a deal and earn a commission. Mm -hmm. You make a friend, 
earn a fortune. VIP Sports Podcast number 105. Steve Stevens here, myself, the skipper. We love you. See you when want to be you. And remember, if you get drunk this playoff weekend, you're having fun, you're making money, please get a designated driver so everyone can stay alive. We love you. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started out with nothing. Dealt me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up as they ain't want to see me breathing. Nice try, but my bosses never die. Fresh out the hospital, stitched up, getting high in the game that I pick. Believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. I ain't perfect, I'm a sinner. All about making wages. We love to gamble out here. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. If you're about to talk paper, money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks.